Okay, this video is going to cover modeling and solving addition equations. Now, equations are the things that have a variable in them, an x, a y, a b, and you're trying to find out what is the value of that letter. So, um, it is algebra, so you're going to be doing that. Um, you have to know that in addition and subtraction, they are inverse operations, which means that they undo each other. So if you have addition, to undo it, you're going to subtract. And the whole goal of solving a, an equation is to isolate the variable. That means getting the variable by itself. And so you get the variable by itself by undoing the operation. And you're going to hear me say over and over again, what you do to one side, you do to the other. So let's look at what this looks like. So first we're gonna go through and do all of the models so that you can understand pictorially what is going on. So I have X here and X is represented by this bar, okay? And I've got plus two. So those are positive two, so I'm gonna say that. And that equals four on this side. Okay, and um, so this is my equation, and you can probably look at it and say, well, of course, 2 plus 2 equals 4, but these are going to get very complicated, so you need to know how this works. So I want to get my x by itself, and, and you can think of this as an x, okay? To get rid of these, I have to undo them. They are positive, so the opposite to undo them is negative. So this, as you remember from the integer video, this gives you zero pairs, okay? I have zeroed that out, and now x is by itself. But to keep this balanced, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So I'm going to, I added two negative here, I'm going to add two negative here. Well, my operation, my integer says that this zero, oops, this zero is out, and this zero is out. And so I have x equals 2. Now visually, you just know that because you know that 2 plus 2 equals 4. And you can check that. But this is how it works, and you have to be able to do it pictorially. So let's try another one with some integers. So I have x represented by this bar. And adding a negative 3. Negative 3 would be 3 red ones. 1, 2, 3. And on this side, this bar means equal to. And on this side, it's equal to 5. 5 positive. Okay. So now I have to do, I'm, I'm trying to get x by itself. So I've got three negatives here. The only way I can get rid of them is to add three positives. That's undoing. And that gives me, and then what I do to this side, I have to do to this side. So I added three positives here. So I'm going to add three positives here. Two, three. And now I do any of my zero pairs. Zero pair, zero pair, zero pair. So x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And put it back in, 8 plus a negative 3 does equal 5. So that checks. So um, let's do the last one, and then we're going to look at it to do it without the models. So this is 3, 1, 2, 3. They're positive. There's no sign here. And plus x equals negative 1, okay? So just negative 1 here. So I want to get x by itself, but I've got these three hanging on. So I've got to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of them by adding negative 3 on this side. And whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. 1, 2, 3. So now I have my zero pairs, zero pair, zero pair, zero pair, x, equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4. So let's look at this. 3 plus negative 4 equals negative 1. Yes, that's true. So let's go back because you're going to have to move away from the pictures. And you're going to have to be able to represent this just with numbers and symbols. So here is my um, 
equation. Let's move it over. Maybe not. Um, so I've got x plus 2 equals 4. So what's the opposite of adding 2? We get x by itself. What's the opposite of adding 2? Subtracting 2. And whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. And I put a big line across, and this x comes down. 2 plus negative 2 is 0, so I don't need to represent that. And then 4 minus 2 is 2. So x equals 2. And isn't that what we saw over here? Yes, it is. X does equal 2. So look at what I did again. I kept this line. I subtracted 2 from both sides, brought down my X, and then 4 minus 2, or add a negative 2, is 2, and X equals 2. So that's the whole process of what's going on. Let's look at this one. So I've got x plus negative 3 equals 5. I want to get x by itself. What's the opposite of negative 3? It's positive 3. Whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. So plus 3 over here. And so x comes down. That's 0, so I don't have to write anything. Equals 8. x equals 8. And isn't that what I showed over here? It is. And then this one, 3 plus x equals negative 1. Well, I can flip this around. I can write it x plus 3 equals negative 1, which I actually prefer. I like leaving my variable over here. You can do it either way. Um, but what's the opposite of adding 3? It's subtracting 3. And so x equals negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. Now, it's going to be very important that you write every step and that you write exactly what I write because that is how you solve these. And you don't want to get lost when these get really complicated and very long because you haven't written down all of your steps. So you're going to see these in a word problem. Uh, Marilyn has a fish tank that contains 38 fish. That's the total, 38. And there are nine goldfish, nine goldfish, plus F, other fish. Write an addition equation and solve. Okay, so here's my addition equation. Now it's to the point where there's too many integer chips for me to draw. But I can um, subtract nine from this side and subtract nine from this side. And so F would come down and 38 minus nine is 20. Um, nine. So um, it ha they have 29 fish. 29 fish. So after you watch this video, you're going to solve these equations and do this word problem to make sure that you understand, and then you'll be all set for starting your classwork.